garlic. Well, carry them with artistic work, he made them. The length of one curtain was 28 cubits, and the breadth of one curtain, 4 cubits. The curtains were all for one size, and they coupled the five curtains one to another, and the other five curtains he coupled one to another. And he made loops of blue on the edge of one curtain that was at the edge of the first coupling. Likewise, he made the other one side of the curtain and the second coupling. 50 loops he made in one curtain, and 50 loops he made in the edge of the other curtain, which was in the second coupling. So the loops held one curtain to another, and he was made 50 golden clasps and coupled the curtain one to another with clasps. So the tabernacle was one. And he made curtains of goat's hair with his hands over the tabernacle. Eleven curtains he made them. The length of one curtain was thirty cubits, and four cubits was the breadth of one curtain. The eleven curtains were of one size, and he coupled five curtains by themselves, and six curtains by themselves, and he made fifty loops upon the edge of the curtain that was outmost in the first coupling, and fifty loops he made he upon the edge of the curtain of the second coupling, and he made fifty clasps of brass to couple the tent together, that it might be one. And he made a covering for the tent of lamb skins that I bred, and covering for of tahash skins of Elbeth. And he made boards of the tabernacle of Shechem was standing up. The length of the board was ten cubits, and the breadth of the board one cubit and a half. One board had two towns connected with the other. Thus did he make for all the boards of the tabernacle, and he made boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards to the south side, southward. And twenty sagas of silver he made under the twenty boards, two sagas under one board for its two towns, and two sagas under another board for its two towns. And for the other side of the tabernacle, which is towards the north side, he made twenty boards, and had forty sockets of silver, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under another board. And for the side of the tabernacle westward, he made six boards, and two boards made for he bore the corners of the tabernacle on the two sides. And they were coupled, and they coupled together at the head thereof to one ring. Thus he did to both of them, and both the corners. And there were eight boards, and their sockets were sixteen sockets of silver, under every board two sockets, and he made bars of hidden wood. Five for the boards of one side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the tabernacle for the west side. And he made the middle bar to the slide through the boards from one end to the other, and he overlaid the boards of gold, and made the rings of gold to be placed for the bars, and overlaid the bars with gold. And he made a veil of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twin and wood, and with her of them he made his artistic work. And he made his small pillars of hidden wood, and overlaid them with gold, their hooks were of gold, and he cast them four sockets of silver. They made a screen for the tabernacle door of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twin and linen of the variety work. The five pillars of it with their hooks, and they overlaid their capitals and their joints with gold. But the five sockets were of brass. And Bezal Al made the ark of Shittim wood. Two cubits and a half was its length. And a cubit and a half its breadth. And a cubit and a half its height. And they overlaid of a pure gold of fat within and without. And made a rim of gold to round about. And he cast four, four rings of gold to be set at its four corners. Even two rings on one side of it, and two rings on the other side of it, and they made poles of hidden wood and overlaid them with gold. And they put the poles into the rings of the sides of the ark to bear the ark. And they made the covering of pure gold two cubits and a half in its length, and one cubit and a half in its breadth. And he made two caravans of gold, beats and outer one piece, he made them on the two ends of the covering, one through on the end of the side, and another through on the other end of that side. Out of the covering made he the caravan at the two ends of it, and the caravan spread out their wings on high. They spread with their wings over the covering, from their faces one to another, towards the covering were the faces of the cherubim. And he made the table of the chestnut wood, two cubits was its length, the cubits breadth, and cubit on half its height. They overlaid it with pure gold, and made for it a rim of gold round about. Also, he made for a border of a hand breadth round about, and he made a rim of gold for its border round about. And he cast for it four rings of gold, and put the rings on the four corners, and wore its four legs over against the border where the rings and the places with the poles to bear the table. And he made the poles of chestnut wood. And I overlaid them with gold to bear the table. And he made the vessels which were upon the table, the dishes and the spoons and bowls and the stars for pouring out of pure gold. And he made the candlestick of pure gold, of wheat and wood, made he the candlestick, shaft, its branches, its holes.